Oh, hi there. Oh, hi, Mark. In today's video, we're taking a look at how gamification has been used in movies and TV shows and action. If you love movies, TV shows, and love video games, it's likely that you started to notice the subtle yet consistent hints towards a convergence of the two mediums for the past 20 years. I'm looking at you, Shrek DVD extras. Oh, hello there! So without further ado, here are some of our favorite uses of gamification in movies and TV shows today. To start things off, we have Tinder's Swipe Night. Ed exclusively on the Tinder app, Swipe Night is a vertically shot point of view show that places you as the viewer in the show as a teenager at a house party with the sole purpose of watching a comet pass very close to Earth. But when the comet decides to collide with Earth, you're left to scramble for safety with your friends. Your involvement comes in at key moments throughout each episode, giving you 7 seconds to make a decision as to what happens next. The series uses the familiar swipe right or left gesture to make a decision. What are we supposed to do with these? Anything from what song to play at the party to whose life to save. This range of impact on your decision as the viewer was an aspect of Swipe Night that we really enjoyed, as it was a great example of immersion through decision making. Up next, we have You vs. Wild. Hey guys, it's Bear Grylls here. Now, for a man who spends a lot of time stranded with minimal supplies to survive, Bear Grylls is a remarkably savvy guy when it comes to adapting his usual shtick with the current technological trends. You vs. Wild is the perfect example. Viewers are invited to come along and interact with Bear in a series of story-defining scenarios. Now, it should be noted at this point that you cannot kill Bear Grylls in the series. Aww. But that's not the point. The brilliance that comes in with You vs. Wild is in its fresh take on an educational users of all ages about survival skills. By directly involving the audience, Grills has tapped into a form of gamification that we love, combining entertainment, education, engagement, and reward. The perfect recipe. Now just before we chat about our next feature, we love creating these videos for you, so if you enjoy them at all, please leave us with a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our weekly videos. This list would not be complete without talking about Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. Banda what? Bandersnatch. For us at Gamify, it was the first real film to successfully involve interactivity without it feeling like a gimmick. What's more is, the movie would have been decent with or without its interactivity. Officially announced only one day before its release, Bandersnatch sits within the science fiction anthology of Black Mirror. And that's an important detail, as its interactivity is clearly flavoured with that famous Black Mirror eeriness, almost effortlessly hinting at mankind's ethical dilemmas involving technology, relationships, politics, and evolution. Where Bandersnatch stood out for us was in its many possibilities. Where other interactive movies or TV shows offer one or two outcomes within each storyline, Bandersnatch offered over 150 minutes of unique footage split into 250 segments. This ultimately meant that the movie could run for either 40 minutes all the way through to over two hours based on the decision that you make as the viewer. And Charlie Booker, the creator of the series, put it perfectly. As you watch or play, you kind of become part of the story yourself. And we couldn't agree more. Bandersnatch gives us a positive outlook on where we're headed with gamification within movies and TV shows, and we couldn't be more excited. We wrote full articles about You vs. Wild and Bandersnatch, which we've linked in our description below. So what do you think about gamification in movies and TV shows? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And as always, for more information about gamification, head straight to gamify.com. See ya.